I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So, since the last uh, video, I upgraded to Zargo's um, armor to uh, to some uh, dragon. Uh, let's see, dragon plate. Yeah, dragon plate. That's the dragon heavy armor. Um, I don't yet have the uh, the dragon drops to make him a full set of uh, of heavy dragon armor. But when I get them, I'll be swapping his uh, his gear the whole way along. <clears throat> At least until we, we have him in uh, end game gear. So what I'm doing now is I'm heading down to the Ragged Flagon, which is the Thieves Guild uh, hideout, and I'm going to let them know that I took care of their uh, entry quests. So eventually, I think, uh, dead bodies are removed from the game. I think that's true. <clears throat> if you don't like having them around, I believe that you can, uh, you can generally disintegrate them with, uh, well, through various means. Like, uh, raising them from the dead and then killing them. I hope I'm not getting lost. I get plugged in somewhere down here. And, uh, I think I saw a butterfly. That's up there. Yeah. Uh, let's keep moving. I think. Yeah, this is probably it down here. And the Thieves' Quest Guild. The first time I did it, I didn't ever take some of the more interesting quests. Eventually, I found that there there are some really nice cinematic, uh, plot-heavy quests uh, later on. Stay out of trouble. They call me Dirge because I'm the. Why? You think it's funny or something? Oh yeah, I think so too. You're pretty smart. Hey, here, have one on the house. Wow, dude is easy. All right then. Okay. I'm busy. Don't you have something to do? Mm -hmm. So, job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be. Ah, she just teleported. I think. Well done. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Not really, but Judging thanks anyhow. You've handled those shopkeepers. That's the spirit. I think you'll do more than just watch on your mind. We've run. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me? Nerves coming we're all down. About. People tend to get hurt in the rat way. Dude, I just joined you. So you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. I'm also the Dragonborn. I could shut you... Well, in any case. Yeah, that is uh, a kind of goofy thing about the game. You really don't get a lot of respect most of the way through. And y you could have all sorts of really impressive titles and stuff, and the guards will still occasionally make fun of you. Of course, you could then shout at the guards, and throw them across the area, but that really wouldn't ever stop them. Almost level 47. Okay, what is up? Yeah, I don't quite... I'm just at the the, the edge of, uh, of leveling. I'm not quite there yet. Okay, come on, come on. Dude, move it. Slow walkers. You would think the thieves would walk more quickly. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk okay. away rich. Okay, got it. Break the rules and you lose your Duh. share. 
Great. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes, good. Good. I mean, it's time we get your listen to what Mercer has to say. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. Claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own. It is interesting how you get a little bit of a fisheye effect. Like the shapes of things are definitely different when you see them on the edge of the screen versus the middle. Is that an elven sword? Looks like an elven sword. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. I hope they don't mind. Uh, Do as you're told. Jasarga. Blakely. We can't turn up. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and oh, and talk to Tanelia and the flagon. I'm She'll happy with my current armor. Golden Glow Estate is it? We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down the catch that important client Mercer mentioned. Would be furious. Aye, the last thing we want. Okay, even okay. Even the that are the guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look. F they're built like. Besides, nothing tell. I'll give you one. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for black, golden glows, and out of the clear blue. Okay, got, so got, got it, got it, got it. Good. Aye, in fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. We hadn't. If the workers had, in return. Maven, let me put. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. Okay, good. One word from her. That should do. The rest of the fourth era in prison. So I need to talk to Vex. Now the nice thing is that there's a quick exit to the thieves' guild right back there, up that ladder. So you no longer have to wander through the uh, the sewers every time. Sometimes that uh, that exit gets stuck when you're using it to enter, but it's generally pretty reliable and saves you a lot of trouble. Okay. So you're the new recruit, huh? Yep. Well, um, where's like Vex? Uh, there she is. Well Before we begin, I want to make two things perfect. Oh, people really love making things One, clear in this. I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace Great. me, Shush. dead wrong. And two. You follow my lead and do exactly as I say. Okay, control freak, no got it. No Come on. Then we understand each other. Good. Now it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about Good. Any business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Who knows? If you want my opinion, I'd say it. You can get out, and while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. It's been a while since I've seen the. Not like the stone was pried off of Baron. I think there were some of the guild members okay. who tried to look. Look, I only tell you what. If you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Hm. Can you believe it, it was okay. like daring good, us good. to go, come? Go, go. Well, that's how I slipped in there. Should still be on. Are you kidding? When the we had the best. The only way this place will ever return to its glory day. The flagon was once a city, but if we can make a name, best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury. Okay, that's fine. Don't give up now. There's plenty of And here's somebody else I have to talk to for a quest. I cannot work with you in this state, Nightwalker. I assumed you were here to see me about your face. But my techniques only work on the living, not those that have crossed over into un Okay, so she knows I'm undead. That's fine. Good. And apparently I need to talk to him. Oh no, I think that's due to a bug in the quest. Um, I took... This happens reasonably often in Skyrim. You can take a quest after you've finished it, and then there's no way that you can ever clear it from your quest log, so you keep extra things in there basically for the rest of the game. Bit of a bummer, not a lot you can do about it. Oh well. Let's talk for a moment. Okay. What do you want? Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. Okay, that's fine. You know what I mean? Bye bye. Don't care. 
Okay, so now we're part of the Thieves Guild. We have a, a quest that we can do. We have uh, use of the secret exit. And that also acts as a fast travel point, so we don't need to wander back to here all the time. So the other things we have to do are... Well, I guess this is also local, so we might as well take care of it while we're still here. So we need to make our way to the uh, Golden Glow Estate. And the most convenient way to do that from here is to fast travel to the stables and then head west across the lake. Now this is a sneaking quest. Um, having Jazargo along... Let's see, do I want to send him back to Winterhold or not? I think I do. Because he's not exactly sneak friendly. Uh, he wears heavy armor and he's pretty aggressive, so when he sees a foe he tends to go right after him. So I'm going to dismiss him as a follower, and I'll meet up with him later at the College of Winterhold to get him back, I think. Now you can actually marry most of your followers, but uh, I don't believe that you can marry Chisargo. And also, you can only get married once in the game, so I would be a little bit reluctant to uh, get married to a follower who um, who can uh, get killed if you accidentally uh, hit them in battle. Although I haven't done marriage yet in the game, so it's possible that I don't fully understand it. But yeah, I'm going to ask Jusargo to. Well, there he is. Jusargo has heard of the staff. Really? Gizargo was having such fun. Ah, well. Back to the college then. So I will see him uh, later. Man, that is cool armor. And he had... Oh, is that a dragon overhead? That is a dragon overhead. Okay. So let's get ourselves a frost atronaut. Uh, Jotargo, would you mind uh, hanging out for then lead on, just a little bit longer? And we want to take out that dragon. Okay, so we have an Atronach, we have Jotargo. Let's get a bow. So we have to get his attention, and he seems to be flying off. And he's flying off in the wrong direction, too. Is he coming back? I do hear somebody nearby. Is that a bear? Maybe he's coming back? No, he's gone. Okay, Chisargo. Chisargo has heard of the staff of Mac. Really? Okay, so I'll catch up with you later, Jazargo. Sorry about that. Just you are not very sneak friendly. Okay, so we are heading over to that island that's out in the middle of the water. Which I believe is over there. The sewer is yeah, pretty much straight ahead. And I guess I'm going to uh, I already have World Winds uh, World Wind Sprint equipped. Good. What? No! Yeah, so it's very hard to actually jump on, uh, jump, uh, jump up onto this place. 
but there's a sewer entrance that's just somewhere down here that you can use if you can find it. Generally, I generally don't have a lot of luck with finding this. Uh, it's somewhere around here. And you'll notice I am ducking. So, oh, here it is. I guess I didn't have that much trouble. So I'm creeping along rather than uh, making a lot of noise. Now one of the things I am keeping an eye out for, as I mentioned in an earlier walkthrough, is uh, items that have the muffle enchantment, because that's one of the uh, one of the two enchantments that I normally really like to have that I'm lacking at this point. Whoa, where'd that... Oh, what, what happened there? Looked almost... Oop. Okay, so I'm capturing Skeever. So as well, not, that's not all that useful, but I guess it's still good for a little bit of quick cash. Let's keep on creeping through the sewer. Oh, now just more, uh, more Skeevers up ahead. That I'm missing. Most unimpressive, but I yeah, didn't even mean to be aiming at that one. Uh oh. Okay, that's not good. Oh. Oh good. The uh the oil ends here. And I leveled up en enough to to keep on improving our health. And um You know, actually, alchemy isn't that important. Maybe I shouldn't keep on spending uh, skills on that. Because, um... No, I could spend skills on conjuration. It's not that important as a money source anymore, because I have smithing and enchantment at 100. And, uh, and although there, there is a cheat that lets you get a lot more benefit out of uh, enchanting and smithing through careful use of, uh, of potions, I don't normally do that, so maybe I shouldn't bother uh, with that. So I could improve use of shields, I could improve conjuration, or I could improve one of my weapon skills. Not one-handed, but maybe archery. I could improve uh, bow damage or... Ooh, faster bow drawing. That is useful. Yeah, that's, that's always useful. Well, always when you're using a bow. Not always useful otherwise. Is that? That's a trap that I must have accidentally hit, which probably dropped the... Uh, the flame thing. Okay. This looks like somebody's uh, home down here. Oh yeah, that, that was something I forgot to do in the Thieves Guild. There's an NPC there who I uh, just walked uh, right by that's, uh, that will sell you lots and lots of uh, lockpicks. And that is very useful. I think she generally sells 10 or 15 at a time. And pretty much you'll never run out of uh, lockpicks again once you join the Thieves' Kill. Okay, let's keep on moving. So just to remind you, we are underneath the Blackbriar Estate. Ooh, ouch. And we are down here to sneak in and burn some beehives, I think. And, uh, oh, and to steal things from somebody's safe. And yeah, while I do have a summoning spell in my left hand, I'm going to be reluctant to use it because, just like Jazarko, once a summon starts combat, they tend uh, to be very reluctant to go back to sneaking.
Okay, actually maybe I'll put invisibility in my left hand. That is really useful in missions like this. Now if you happen to be really good at picking pockets, you can just uh, pick the key for this place off of, uh, off of somebody. And if you really feel like doing combat, you could instead find one of those somebody's and kill them. But I find that with stealth missions, you don't want to make yourself visible um, any sooner than you have to. And if you can avoid it entirely, then, uh, then all the better. At this level, I could probably kill everyone here. But I, I also find it to be just a lot more interesting to play it through. I think this is the way that it's meant to be played. So I stay in sneak mode, stay invisible, and uh, I guess it looks like there's somewhere I'm supposed to go upstairs. I keep on recasting uh, invisibility every so often. And of course, if you unlock a door or do anything else that breaks your invisibility, then recast it as soon as you're done. A little bit more, maybe? No, probably a little bit less. Okay, somewhere around here. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, there's no person in here, just a chest and some stuff. Okay, let's grab this stuff. Now, for some reason, the game isn't marking this stuff as stolen, so if I decide to sell it, I will have no pro uh, problem doing so. Now let's close this up and go invisible again, because occasionally these places have people patrolling them. Oh, yeah, there are two people. I would prefer not to let them see me. So I will just keep on moving. Well, oh, okay, there's a person there, but I think I probably want to be in there. Unfortunately, my magic region is pretty decent, so... He went back over there. So provided that his back... Oh no, he, he turns back towards me. So this reminds me a little bit of another game that I've been enjoying recently called Dishonored. Where sneaking is a big, big part. Okay, his back is turned. Let's uh, pop this open and then back off again. And head in. Okay, so I'm not sure if there's anything down here that's... Let's see, what am I doing here? Okay, in the basement is his safe. And I could go up and get the key to his safe, although I think I have a good enough lockpicking skill that I can probably uh, pick it. Okay. Looks like safe... Oh, it's actually downstairs further. See if I can find my way down. If I really want to be super cautious, I would uh, close every door that I pass through. But I'm not going to be quite that cautious. And I don't think the NPCs notice. Blood or oil on the floor. Yuck. Okay, so... I love invisibility. It really does change the game a lot once you get it. Okay, expert lock, but it started out almost at the right place. A little bit to the right? No. Okay, a little bit to the left. Let's try.
try a little bit less to the left. Okay, cool. I did it. I didn't need the key. There is the bill of sale. Let's get all the gold here and see what is this. And what else am I doing? I believe I'm... Okay, the sewer is an escape route. So I might have to come back here. Unless I just want to hop over the wall and make a run for it. But I believe I have to head up and out and make my way to the uh, beehives to burn three of them, I think. Sometimes you'll find a patrol here and you'll actually physically bump into them. You don't want to do that. That gives the game up immediately. Okay, so this will put me outside. I think. Maybe not. No, it put, uh, put me back inside where I was before. Okay, well, I can wander outside. Maybe there's a window I can jump out of. And I can do it heroically. Or not. I'm guessing that uh, that the ability... Actually, I'm not going to bother. I'll just grab this stuff and head out. Maybe the ability to go grab the key is there so that um, people who don't have much of a lock picking skill won't have to manage a reasonably tough lock. Many of the quests in the game are designed so that you can perform them when you're at a low level. So I think that's probably what's uh, what's at play here. Oh, are we okay? This is the estate, so we should be able to sneak our way over to where the beehives are. Okay, lock cutting dude. Um, where are the beehives? I guess they're on that other island. So again, yeah, you do want to have a good sneak skill because being noticed is all about either making noise or just being visible. So if you screw up on either of those, people can uh, catch on. But by this point, my sneak, uh, sneak skill is reasonably good. Okay, so these are the beehives. You can hear them. So I will actually take out a destruction spell. That's one, that's two, and that's three. And that's me invisible again. Okay, so I will fast travel back to the Thieves skill. And again, fast travel, you can't do fast travel if you're in combat, so if nobody has noticed you by this point, then you can quickly make your way back down. Really do not like these uh, Karas dudes. And the Karas Reapers right up there with the saber tooth tiger in being uh, my least favorite cr uh, critters in the game. It is a pity I failed to attract the attention of that dragon that we saw at the beginning of this video, though. It would have let me make more uh, more gear for Jizargo.
Okay, so this is how you get in. Just head over and press the button and it slides back. You would think that the people of Riften would eventually notice, although given how corrupt uh, the town is, maybe maybe everybody uh, does notice it, but there's a tacit understanding that if, if you head down in there and you're not supposed to be, then you're going to be knifed pretty quickly. Anyhow. Come here a second. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. Now. Who? What's on your mind? You're the one who wants to talk to me. People are beginning to get impressed with you. I'll show you what I know. Sweet. Although that did swallow all of our gold. You ever need more practice with the boat, but just grab me. Word on the street. Let me take a look. Arengar sold Golden Glow. He has no idea the extent of payments. If, if only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Last. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. <laughs> if it was like that, she wouldn't. It's just business. That's between. Don't worry about it. Leap. <laughs> Keep doing right by us. There's okay, well, 800 back. Not nearly as much as I just spent to learn more about the bow, but still, good enough. Now we have to head out and talk to Maven. So that is the thing about the Thieves uh, Guild line of quests. Um, it does keep you in uh, in Riften for a while. So if you if you are just in Riften like I am to do a whole bunch of quests at the same time, this will definitely be uh, a long term uh, detour. So, Maven, where is Maven? Oh yeah, I didn't have the quest active, so yeah, let's bring up the mini-map. Maven is indoors. She's roughly straight ahead from wherever I am now. So, oh, is she actually? Oh. Oh, there's a thief. Well, let's bring out our sword. Hopefully the thief's guild won't mind my... Uh, well, the problem is I could accidentally hit somebody else, but he did, he did just kill a guard. Okay. Sorry about that, guard. I guess if I had acted a little bit quicker, you might still be alive, but... Five more lockpicks. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so bad? Oh, are they? Why are they still sneaking? Ain't no doubt about it. The thief skill is back. <laughs> I've never seen a guard sneak before. Out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God. Okay, so did they kill anyone more than the guard? I don't think so, and I'm glad that Bellamund is still alive. Okay, so let's just make sure that this, yeah, the bee and the barb is where she is. Given how long load times uh, can be in Skyrim, it makes sense to double check that you're meant to be in somewhere before you uh, head in. <clears throat> okay. Maven should be just in here somewhere. Oh, is that? She's upstairs. Okay, so that's kind of awkward. I both helped him with his wedding gift. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. You're a firebrand. It's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense. Faith, all I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius? He'll fill you in on all the details. 
been a thorn in my side for the last few years. Not a, only a few. I can't imagine where he found the gold. Exactly. Then I swoop in and take over. The golden blowers. Savion could use this interruption to his advantage. Okay. So that's it. I'll tell you what. Can't have that. If you don't make peace with them soon, you may get a walk out on your hands. Then we both. Okay, so we need to head over and talk with uh, this guy in White Run. So I, I really don't like the character of uh, of Maven very much, but I don't remember if she's inside White Run or. Um, uh, or I'm sorry if this guy's inside White Run or if he's just outside. So I'll head just outside the city and see uh, see what's up. <clears throat> but yeah, if I'm going to keep on training like that, uh, then I, I will need to make sure that I keep on getting a steady income so that I can afford to. It's pretty easy to run out of money, even in a late game, because of the expenses of the training. <clears throat> so I think this... what's this? East Grimoire? He's a famous Nord dude. If you do the Companions quest line, I think you end up uh, going to his tomb and... Uh, I suppose I could do that quest line uh, later on after I finish uh, finish more of the rest of the game. It is a, a really fun series of quests, and it takes you to some neat places. And I think that's that's part of the point of Skyrim, uh, or, or part of the part of the way that Skyrim is designed. Although there is more or less a main quest in the game, it's not a quest that you actually need to pay attention to. Okay, so this dude is... Oh, he is up in White Run. Okay, well then I guess I need to go inside. There are a few places that are just, uh, just outside of White Run, and it isn't always uh, obvious where your quest target is. I just can't help that that is really not a well-designed armor system for vampires. There's got to be something they could wear that would not hamper their mobility too much, that would provide them with more protection. Crazy ears on them too. Anyhow, so I need to. Where am I going here? Bannered mare. Is it the bannered mare? I guess it was the bannered mare, which I think is just straight ahead. Now, thematically, this line of quests is um, it is pretty appropriate for the Thieves' Guild in that you end up making your way through underground tunnels uh, between civilized areas quite a lot. Let me know if you need anything. Take a seat by the fire. This and is an old Skyrim's staunch protector. So the mm -hmm. Drink too Can't long. a man drink. I'm going to keep this Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabyarn to give it. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows it. You're going to happen, but he's going to give you the poison to use on the pests. But you're also. Maven and I spent weeks planning. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else. Both of the building 
There's an entrance. I've already okay. removed the board so the metery would get in. Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. I made the mistake of borrowing coin. He treats me like a slave. His plan works. Maven and I worked out a little deal. And guess who gets to run the Black Briar metery in White Run? Okay, that works. <coughs> So it is kind of weird that you can just hop into fires and not suffer any damage. Although again, I'm not absolutely certain that that's not just caused by my high magic resistance. Okay. Oh, I actually already have a uh, fast trouble point for this. That's handy. <clears throat> now teeth on helmet, that's just goofy. Plus, I imagine it would get kind of awkward if you got it cut on food or clothing or something like that. It would be kind of undignified. So I'm imagining that's why real helmets, as far as I know, never really had uh, decorative teeth. I might be wrong. Although it does look almost like a word wall in the back there. Although I suppose if I'm going to start applying that criterion then a whole lot of things are going to look like word walls. Like just a strip of ribbon or something. Anyhow. Oh, come on. Okay, so I'm heading into the metery, and I think he will assign me the quest to take care of his uh, pest uh, problem. I have prob are you kidding? I'm supposed to be holding if he sees the metery in this state. Uh oh really. I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Oh, my only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation. I bought some poison. I was going to have if you plant this in the vermin's nest, it don't okay. come back until every one of those things are dead. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Let nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheap. So both of them are, are pretty douchey. So I have been assigned to go and uh, poison uh, the rats. So down I go. So these are venom, uh, or that, that was a venom fan, uh, fang skeever. Um, you do encounter some nastier uh, skeevers down here than you have before. So I'm actually going to have an, an Antronaut take care of that. Whoa. And actually, I am apparently not fast enough to... They are rather fun to fling. Oh, did it die from flinging? It might have died from just being flung. Huh. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about them too much if they're that weak. Let's keep on moving. I could turn into vampire form and waste all these things. Actually, maybe I'll do that. That's kind of fun. And I don't have Juzargo around to uh, to worry about. Moving. 
Okay, where am I going? Oh, this way. I hope I, uh, this area doesn't have too many of those. Um, ah, lots of spiders. Did I earn a new perk? I may have earned a new perk. No, not yet. Well, I'm much of the way there. So it is kind of uh, goofy that, oh, am I not, that's weird, the perk uh, screen isn't coming up for me. And being a vampire is not a good time to be facing somebody with fire spells. So I'm going to run off and revert my form. Hopefully I can get far enough that he won't be reaching me before I transform. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to turn invisible. But actually, I think I'll take care of this in the next video. This seems like a decent breaking point. So, I've been Pat Gunn, and I still will be Pat Gunn, but uh, that's the end of this 